Hi, it's Scala. So today I'm going to be doing my detox vlog food diary type thing. Um, I know it's the end of the detox challenge, but hopefully this will still be helpful. Before we kick off the video, I just want to put a disclaimer out there to say that this is how I detox. I am not saying that everybody should detox this way and it's the best way to detox and it's completely right, it's completely fabulous, perfect, fantastic. But I just want to say that this is just from experience. This is what I've been doing for the past, like what, four years now? Oh my gosh, I feel like a grandma. This is what I've been doing for a very long time since I started losing weight. So the way I detox is very simple, it's nothing too confusing I like to keep it regular I don't like to put stress on my body or shock my body immensely I like to keep it calm I like to keep it cool settled balanced and all that good stuff I can't some of the detox diets out there are very expensive for example juicing every single day mm -mm. I can't do it first of all because I like eating solid food so shut up <laughs> I have done that in the past that's all I can do but anyway it's quite expensive because you have to be buying loads and loads of fruit every single day and fresh fruit and stuff like that to keep juicing and I can't be affording that. I'm a student. Calm it, calm it. <laughs> so uh, the way I like to detox is I like to snack a lot. I don't have normal meals basically and I find this is great for basically making your metabolism much faster because your body is constantly digesting food and you're constantly putting some stuff into your body and that's great for your body like eating like every hour maybe that sort of thing is what I try and do like every hour to every two hours and also I never let myself get hungry and I never let myself get full so I'm always at this comfortable level of just yeah um, you can see throughout the day I had quite a few snacks I did not film everything like this is not what all I ate in the day it's just what I managed to film at the time just ideas that I thought you guys would like to see like so yeah let's move on to the video if I haven't spoken for too long <laughs> okay so I like to keep this one liter bottle of water next in my bed and I like to sip on this throughout the day if I'm in my room but mostly in the mornings when I first wake up I like to take a big gulp of it just to get me started because water is a great way of flushing out toxins so try and have at least two liters of water a day and it's empty right now because I've already had a lot to drink so one of the drinks I like to have first thing in the morning is this cayenne pepper and lemon sort of tea I first heard about this from my mum but I've also read that some celebrities have it and it's like one of the best And it's a detox drink that's often talked about in the health world but basically you want to put the lemon in I just squeeze some fresh lemons in the boiled water and then I like to put a wedge of lemon in there just to intensify the flavor and make sure that it stays super lemony and yeah if you read my detox blog post from last week you'll know why lemons are really good for detoxing like they really do flush out the toxins but also I like to add the cayenne pepper because cayenne pepper is great for making your metabolism much much faster so it's great to have first thing in the morning to fire up your metabolism though I should put out a warning to say if you're not very tolerant of spicy foods be very 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 careful of this and certainly do not put as much as I do in because you will cough it up and you will have a spaz attack like oh my gosh what have I just done to myself so literally just put a sprinkling in not nearly as much as I've put in I always by accident put way too much in but as you can see it looks absolutely lovely I just love having this first thing in the morning to warm me up and just get my day started okay so the first kind of snack I like to have I can have this anytime throughout the day really it's not like the first snack I have but I love popcorn and I like to get these um, popping corn kernels instead of buying ready-made popcorn and you can see how I make popcorn over on the Style Me Fit channel I made one for the like holiday season but that's like a slightly unhealthy recipe this recipe is much healthier and I just sprinkled a little bit of salt over it not very much just a little and I barely have salt in my diet as it is so this is really great for adding some sodium into my diet because your body does need all the nutrients in, but just you know balanced and everything and it's a great snack to have at home whilst watching a movie or you can even take it to school or work or anywhere else you're going out and about the next snack is probably one of my all-time favorites because it's just so yummy and so unexpected because 
Who would think that apple and peanut butter go together? I think I've actually made like a recipe video of this before, which is kind of silly because it's so easy to make, but I absolutely love it. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting up my apple into wedges. You can use any kind of apple you want. You can use a green apple or a red apple. It's really up to you. And it even tastes nice if your apple's slightly soft and getting a little bit old. It still tastes super good. So it's, it's just a fantastic recipe. So I like to lay out my food in a really pretty way and I know a lot of you will be like do you actually do this like every single day for yourself or do you do it to like take pictures and honestly I do it for myself because you eat with your eyes. If something looks fantastic it makes the experience so 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 much better so I really do like making my sort of food look pretty. I mean look how pretty it looks. It looks amazing. So it just gets me excited to really dig in and you'll find that you just enjoy your food a little bit more when you put a little bit more effort into it. So I really want you guys to take that into account instead of just like wolfing down your food like straight away. So I'm just putting the peanut butter in this ramekin bowl very elegantly as you can see. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to microwave it. And what microwaving will do is just melt it so then I can sprinkle it on top of the apples. And oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And what this actually does is it means you'll use a lot less peanut butter, like you'll use less than a tablespoon because I've just sort of, um, what's it called? dribbled it on top that sounds really icky I didn't dribble it I like I know you can't sprinkle it but I just put it on top of the apples and then I'm just dipping it slightly in and I had lots of peanut butter left over so I ended up using a lot less than I usually would which is a really great tip if you want to have peanut butter or any other kind of nut butter you can use and I like to have this sort of snack um, when I'm studying i'm currently studying for my fitness instructing class because as you guys know i want to be a fitness instructor so i'm currently training for that and i think i was doing stuff on the heart which was pretty cool i'm loving it so yeah as i said you can use any kind of nut butter you want and make sure it's organic do not get the processed sugary type because then that defeats the whole point of detoxing because then you're just putting more sugar in your body Okay, moving on to the next snack. This is something I like to have either for breakfast or for dessert and it's just a great simple recipe to make. So you want to just take a banana. You can use a small or a large banana like I am depending on how hungry you are. But because I'm snacking and I haven't been having very big meals, I like to have a big banana to really fill me up. So I'm just using this low fat Greek style yogurt and it's really really good for you. I love Greek yogurt. It has protein and loads of other great nutrients for you. So I'm just taking a couple of tablespoons and putting that in. You really don't need that much in because you just want to be able to coat the bananas in the Greek yogurt. So I'm just putting that into the bowl and then after that of course I have to lay out my bananas in a pretty way because I like pretty food because it makes everything exciting. And then I like to pair this with some green tea. Now I have green, green tea throughout the day anyway and you want to have green tea at least three times a day if you really want to notice the great effects of green tea. I mean the benefits are endless and green tea is just great for you honestly there are so many benefits and it's really great to have during a detox and this is a great thing to pair together I've just sprinkled a little bit of granola on top of my pudding just because I want to add a bit of a crunch to it so that's all I'm having Okay, so yeah, those are all my detox foods. I hope you found this really helpful. And all I can advise is to stick to as natural foods as possible, as clean and natural. So that's just fruit and organic foods and stuff like that because you don't want stuff that's overly processed and stuff like that. I didn't want to film everything because as you guys know, in the New Year Challenge, there is the sort of um, diet week and that's when I wanted to do my full food diary sort of thing. And that will be different because I won't be snacking throughout the day. I'll just be like having meals and like snacks throughout the day. <laughs> okay, so my camera just cut off on me because it ran out of memory. It's way of telling me to shut up. So I guess I'll go now. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a fab first week of the new you challenge. 
and the new video for the next thing, the next week, will be up very soon. Hopefully the same day as this one, but you never know what might happen with me. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, stay healthy, bye! And make sure you comment below and tell me how you found the detox week and what you found to be easiest, what you found to be hardest, if you found any new recipes or anything like that. I'd love to know how you guys are getting on with everything like that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Bye! Bye!